for lunch? It's Hungry Hungry Hippos! <laughs> hungry Hungry Hippos! Hungry Hungry Hippos! Hungry, hungry hippos. First to gobble up the most marbles win. If you want to win the game, you gotta take a good aim. And get so, getting out there and and just feeling the board. It represents what amateurs can do. It shows that the professional rank means nothing in this game. H H A NASCAR big buck. One word. Buy money, fame, power, women. Yeah. I win. Hungry, hungry hippos from Hasbro. My name is Kevin Wood. They call me Woody to represent all amateurs. I was born and raised in New Hampshire, but now, now I'm in the Boston area. We were just like chilling out at my house, my mom's house. Hey, mom! And well, we were up in the attic, we found the game, and we we're just like, whoa, memories. And we just we started playing. Well, see, my family gave me this board. I think I was. Must have been Christmas, uh, might have been six years old, but I never really played it. Kind of just stuck it up in the attic, you know, one of those old Christmas gifts you pull out when the family comes around. But uh, then I went to college, started playing with these chicks. I had to say it was my life. Third, third foster home, this, this, oh, what was that his name? Uh, don't matter, but you know this, uh, he, he showed me the, the rules of HHH and all that shit. but uh, yeah, that was right before his psycho sister, sister shot up the whole place. A lot of blood, man, but it was, it was sick. My little darling, Billy Mae, she didn't like me watching the NASCAR 24-7, so she tried to introduce me to a new hobby. And, you know, Rufus and Cletus, uh, Rufus is my uncle slash cousin, but we started playing he, they, they were playing long before me, and they kind of taught me the ropes of the game. And well, you see, I was, uh, I was over in uh, Japan, you know, scarf on the gnar and some fresh powder. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know. Uh, so, uh, I found myself uh, up in the mountains at this monastery, and these monks were playing this crazy game. And I was like, "Yo, bros, what is that?" And they were like, "Oh, dozo." And I was, and I said, "Oh, yeah, it's dozo song." And they invited me in. And I. I found myself in playing this game and it was it was Hungry Hungry Hippos and that was my first experience with that. My name is Woduziar. When I came to the United States for the first time, people could not pronounce my name correctly. And one day, a friend called me Dozer because when I played Triple H, I close my eyes so people think that I am asleep. Now everyone calls me Wardozer because it's easier to pronounce. I started playing Triple H in the streets of my hometown. My parents were both very sick, so I started to play cash games of Triple H to feed my family. After being introduced to the game on the streets, I started playing in China's underground Triple H circuit where I soon became known as the number one player in China. In competitive matches, I close my eyes in order to become more in tune with my hippo and with the marbles. My intense concentration often throws my opponents off. Uh, I get a little excited, I got, I'll be honest. I, I, I don't know if it intimidates them, I just get excited. Oh, something, hippo. something adrenaline. Like now, my legs shaking. Speed, speed on the paddle, speed. But but I got this sixth sense, you know. I can feel the balls. I know it's like it's in, uh, uh, what was, what's the word? What's the word? Intelligent speed. That's what I'm gonna call it. I, it's a wrist flick. You know what I'm saying? It really gets to that. Say okay. I it's usually I just have my hand on the hippo. The hippo is down there. Got my fingers on it. Okay, ready for. Ready? Ready? You watching? Yeah, what? Yeah, there was- I'll do it again. Yeah! This is in their- It's insane how it affects them. Well, you know, a lot of people- a lot of people criticize the way I act on the- on the, uh, on the pitch, yo, you know. Man, they're like, 
they say I, you know, talk and harass the other players, but I'm not, I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing when I'm out there, man. I, I feel that I, I, I just try and connect. It's all about an interconnectedness. And... Well, between you and me, I bend the rules a little bit. I put a vacuum cleaner in it. It sucks all the balls in. Uh, my strategy uh, involves a lot of key, uh, a lot of well-timed hits. See, a lot of people just go, you know, bang, 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 and just go over and over and. And, you know, it, it's got its appeal, you know, the run and gun type players, uh, they usually go for stuff like that. But me, I find that if you hit strategically, it will tilt the board to your advantage. So, balls that are on your opponent's side of the pitch will come back to you, and then you can go crazy on them all you want. Uh, well, I always gotta have my shades and a cigar, cigarillo, cigarette, something, doesn't have to be lit. I just need it, you know, something to keep me, uh, just something to focus on. I go with sweatbands, sweatbands, arms, arms and head. Uh, nothing but my soul, bro. I, I always carry my shotgun in my lap. But I'm going with the bandana in this competition, I feel it's lucky. I will often meditate deep within an unnamed forest, once said to be the birthplace of many great hippo tribes. I use the beat of my drum that has been handed down from generation to generation in family to help me achieve my meditative state, becoming one with the chi around me. If I can become one with the nature in the forest, I can become one with the marbles in the game. All right, uh, well, let's see, my greatest match. This, this must have been about two years ago. It was right when I was turning pro. I mean, this was my big break. Uh, I've been hitting up the undergrounds in New York for, uh, for, for oh, man, it must have been years at that point. And uh, so I finally got a challenge from a top player in New York. I mean, this guy was rich. This is a Triple H legend. I mean, he had been raking in millions for years. He came and he challenged me to a one-on-one -on -one match. So uh, I go up there, we sit down, he's got everything laid out, 100,000 is the, uh, the prize. And, uh, you know, I'm taking in balls, I start, to, I start winning, and all of a sudden, he reaches across the table and he just smacks, smacks a cigarette out of my mouth. I didn't even flinch. I just stood up, I pulled out my knife, through the neck. 